in Luke chapter 18 verse 9. This parable is for those who trusted in themselves that they were righteous. Now, there is a righteousness which is by faith, which is a gift of God. And there is a righteousness which I can produce myself. And the difference is this, the way to detect it is, the righteousness which you have produced by yourself, you'll be proud of. The righteousness which you got as a gift, you'll be thankful for, but you'll never be proud of it. And I've used this example often. Um, Supposing I say, this is a book that I wrote, I can be proud of it. There's a temptation, because I wrote it. But if I lift up a book here which somebody else wrote, and say, this is a great book, I'm not even tempted to pride. Why? Because somebody else wrote it. It's that simple. So, if you are proud of some good quality you have in your life, uh, maybe you're very generous, or you're very humble, or you're very prayerful. Whatever it is, some good quality you have, and you're proud of it. Who wrote that? God or you? <laughs> you wrote it. That's why you're proud of it. If somebody else wrote it, you can never be proud of it. If God had written that into your life, you cannot be proud of it. Can you be proud? Can any of you be proud of if you pass this book out to some other, some other people? You never wrote it. You cannot be proud of what you did not write. You won't even be tempted. That shows how much of our righteousness is our own produced righteousness. The test is, are you proud of it? You know, they, are, they trust in their own self-produced righteousness. A lot of what you call divine nature is not divine nature at all. If it were divine nature, you'd be very humble about it. For example, maybe you're a very hospitable person. You're very generous and hospitable to people in the church. And you are quite conscious of it. And you are proud of it. It is a human quality which you have, which God did not produce in you. It is your own righteousness which stinks in God's eyes. Is hospitality a good thing? Sure. But not your hospitality. That stinks in God's eyes because you're proud of it. You look down on other people who don't have that hospitable nature that you have. It could be anything. It could be that you can sing better or play an instrument better or preach better or, or your church is better than somebody else's church. Oh, your church is growing. We were only 50 people when I came here as an elder. Now we are 200. Oh, oh, oh really? <laughs> I wouldn't care two bits for those extra 150 people who came to your church because they're not probably disciples. If you're such an ungodly person, how can they be disciples? Anything that you're proud of is your own. A book that you write, you're proud of. A book that somebody else wrote, you cannot be proud of. And if God produced something in you, you can never be proud of it. If you're proud of it, it must, it proves that you produced it. You sacrifice something for the Lord. Oh, ho, ho. You are so sacrificial. I'll tell you what, you haven't seen the Cal sacrifice of Calvary. I don't believe I've sacrificed one single thing in my life for Jesus. Because I've seen the sacrifice of Calvary so clearly. Can you see the stars when the sun is shining? Not even one star. And when the sacrifice of Calvary becomes as bright as the sun in your life, all your petty little sacrifices will disappear like the stars. You won't be able to see them. If you can see them, what does it prove? When can you see the stars? In the darkness. If you can see your own sacrifices, in Jesus' name I can tell you, you are in darkness. Come into the light, brother, sister.